Hi, my name is Cynthia Lauren and today on my day off, this is Wednesday, so I feel like this is the only time I really film. Um, on my day off, I thought it would be fun to do a what's in my diaper bag video. When I was pregnant with my daughter Vidalia, I was obsessed with like all things like pregnancy related videos on YouTube. But like for like my first like stretch of videos that I was obsessed with watching, it was these videos. And um, like I would just watch them because I was obsessed with finding like the perfect diaper bag and and I could not get enough of them. And um, I didn't actually see any videos with my diaper bag. I feel like it's kind of like a, well it was a smaller company. I don't know, they may have blown up now. I should have actually look to see if there are any before I even film this. There may be more, um, but like there was only like little like promo like videos and little like teaser things from like the company that they put out, but there wasn't actually any videos from like people um, like posting. So this diaper bag that I have, it is um, from a company called City Collective and I found them just while I was like browsing online for diaper bags and like, you guys, when I tell you like I was obsessed to the point where I was um, like finding the dimensions of the bags and like getting a tape measure and like holding it up like to my body because like I'm only 5'3", so I didn't want a diaper bag that was huge and like taking up my whole body. <laughs> so I would have my fiance literally be like, okay, this one's like 17 inches. Well, that's my whole back. Like I can't have a diaper bag. That's my whole entire, like half my body. Like while I'm carrying a baby, it was just crazy. Like I was obsessed. <laughs> so I ended up finding this one online and the dimensions were perfect. Um, I loved the color of it because everything that I was doing for Vidalia was like gray, white, and purple. So I love that it was a dark like slate gray. I love that it was um, like a really nice pleather. I didn't actually know how nice it was going to be until I actually got it. I got it as a gift for my mom for my baby shower. And I think I was very specific. I do not like gold um, in general. I don't wear gold jewelry. I'm a white gold kind of person or silver. I was very specific that I wanted my hardware to be silver. And at the time, you know, you think even still now, like brass, um, rose gold, gold was very in. And so I thought it was, it felt like it was impossible to find a diaper bag that I really liked that had silver hardware that wasn't crazy, like prints. I'm really not into like bright colors and things of that nature. So anyways, long story short, I ended up going with this diaper bag and I love it so much. It's called, I believe, The Journey um, Style. They have it also in a few other different colors. Um, it is, I think, 14 and a half inches tall. So like when I wear it, it might look really big like while I'm holding it up, but it's really not. And it can actually get a lot smaller if you don't have as much stuff in it. But I feel like I pack so much stuff all the time because I need to be like over prepared for everything. <laughs> and then also with baby number two on the way, it can also expand a lot more. So I can actually fit a lot more into this bag than I have. So this is it. It's beautiful and let's get into what I have in here. So um, first of all, I always keep just like a little security blanket and of course it has to match because I'm a crazy person. Yeah, this is a security blanket and like I said, I was going with like gray, white, and purple. So this, I was obsessed with this um, print from Copper Pearl when I was uh, pregnant and so I got like the whole set and I think like two of parts of the set were actually um, out of stock forever and ended up coming back into stock like a couple days before my due date and of course I still had to get it. I was like, there's no way I can't have every single piece to this print. It was called Rowan, I think. Um, so yeah, it has the gray and the white like roses and then um, with the purple uh, on the inside. So it was perfect for everything that I was going for. So this is the bag. So uh, yeah, on this side, like I said, I always just keep a, um, I'll try and like keep it held up. I always keep a security blanket just because, oh, I guess I have other stuff in here too. Oh, I have some Q-tips. It looks like a nail file and uh, a windy <laughs> because when she started on solids, Vidalia, she was getting constipated a lot and I was actually having to use um, the windies to like get her 
you know, stools out of her and luckily she's been doing really good so I haven't had to use it but I always just keep it just in case. And then a nail file, I just file her nails with a regular nail file. She cannot stand clippers and she cannot stand the electric nail file that I saw everywhere when I was also looking at like what you need for your registry videos, la la la. So um, yeah, I just use a regular nail file on her. I have to put like her favorite song on and just like do them really quickly because she cannot stand um, getting her nails done. So that's right there in the little side pocket. I always just have it here because um, until recently it's been pretty warm all the time. So like having this just like when we go inside of a grocery store to just kind of like put over her uh, feet and stuff, which she kicks off anyways, but yeah. And then on this side, I don't think I have anything in here. I do. I have, oh, sunscreen. Sunscreen because we were finding ourselves outside a lot. I might actually keep this out because it's like rainy and it's going into the colder season. So I'm probably gonna keep that out for now. Um, let's see, and then we'll go in the back. So I love this because it has a pocket in the back and I didn't clean my bag out or anything. So if there's like crazy stuff in here, this is just mail, I guess. But usually I always keep my wallet in the back. So when I'm wearing it on my back, you know, it's right up against me. There's nobody can like swipe it or anything. Um, so I always keep my wallet. It basically just has a post-it pad, a bunch of receipts, some business cards. Um, and then of course my cards, some cash, a check my fiance needs to cash. And I always keep a pen black pen black pen for my black wallet because sometimes if we go into a store like really quickly i'll just grab this out of the diaper bag and just like grab the dahlia and like that'll be it but if we're going to like somewhere where i know we're going to be for a while then like my whole bag goes with me with my wallet inside so i have plane tickets still from we visited my family in california i have um these silicone straws i found them at walmart and i got like two packs of them and i just always keep some like everywhere because she loves to just play on them and chew on them so i just always have these silicone straws i have honestly united uh, sanitizing wipes that they gave me a couple of receipts post it actually with like some insurance information that i need and then in the back here looks like i have two more pens um, a lip gloss and a Burt's Bees like tinted uh, chopstick. So that's what I have in this like back area. First, I'm gonna actually clean out my bag while I'm doing this and talking to you guys. So stuff that back in and all this other stuff can stay out besides her straw because she loves those and I keep them everywhere. So that's the back side side and then here on the bottom we have um they didn't really like specify it is insulated but i just honestly this is going to be crazy in here so and the bottom looks like okay so when i'm at work like when i change her out of her sleeper into like her daytime clothes i always just put her it's not ever like dirty but i just put her sleeper that i take off in the bottom part so when i get home usually uh i just throw it in her dirty hamper and it gets washed um, okay, and I keep her feeding stuff down here. I have like a bib for her, just a little handkerchief bib. I have an extra bowl. I have a couple clean spoons. Um, this is the oatmeal cereal that I use for her. Um, I wanted to find one that had barley because uh, her is easily digestible and she was having a really hard time getting backed up like I was saying. So yeah, this one has um, quinoa, oats, um, does this one even have barley? Milled oats, organic quinoa. Maybe not. I thought it did. Anyway, um, this one seems to be working fine for her. Oh, and then I love that this one has fat content um, because I've been really needing to like get some extra like healthy fats in when I can when feeding her. So I love this one. Um, and then I have just a munchkin um, diaper changing pad so the bag did come with one I actually see it over there uh, and it matches this and it's like a pleather <laughs> but I don't know I just it slid around a lot so I wasn't like the hugest fan so I just keep this one in the bottom here along with all of her food stuff I don't know that might seem weird but it works um, we don't have any issues so yeah all right so that part is done and yeah so now let's go to the inside 
Oh, and then these are like stroller hooks. These parts, you can take them off. I just kind of leave them on because I feel like it looks, I don't know. I can just grab it from literally every angle that I need to. So this is the inside of the bag. There is a big main compartment and then there's another, I, this is like where I put all my stuff, like my mommy pouch. Um, so yeah, this is my mommy pouch and this is the main compartment. So let's go in the main compartment. Um, I always have, let's see, oh, and then let me see if I can like show you inside. So inside there are one, two, three, four, five, six um, elastic pockets and the ones on the two sides are insulated. So there's the foil on the inside to keep um, things hot or cold. And so, let's see, on the two in the back here, I keep diaper rash cream in one, like this is all in literally one. So diaper rash cream, I keep some hand sanitizing spray, I keep um, the little Oogie Bear um, nose picker, and then I keep another one like in the house, but this one always just comes with us wherever we are. I keep um, some non-medicated cooling gel for teething. There's a dime, I guess. Um, oh, mittens from when she used to wear mittens. She doesn't wear these little mittens anymore, but like when she used to sleep, I used to put her in mittens so she wouldn't scratch her face. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I could probably keep these out because she literally doesn't wear these ever. Um, I keep little nail clippers for just in case if I catch her sleeping, like in the car, I can sneak a few. Um, and then I keep this bag, and in this bag I just keep a bunch of like the, like, diaper, um, like dirty diaper bags, or even like if an outfit gets soiled, and they smell like lavender. So yeah, that's all in one pocket. So the pockets on the inside are pretty big, so it's literally all in one, and it's like that one, that's empty. Okay. So this side one, I keep a little bag of like another one of these straws that she loves. I keep like a teething avocado, a little teething ring, and a little teething raspberry. Also just like good toys to give to her for at a restaurant or something. So I just keep them all in this bag. And just keep that in one of the pockets. So. And then in one of the other, like, I'm actually gonna put this stuff back in as I'm like doing it. So, and then in another one of the pockets, I keep wipes, uh, these are just the Pampers Pure Aqua, and like a few diapers. I think there's like two right now, I probably have to put a couple more in. But yeah, wipes and diapers, of course, it's a diaper bag, gotta have diapers. And then I keep a car seat cover, um, the same set, I just keep it all rolled up, also from Copper Pearl, um, in one of the pouches. And then I keep in one of the other pouches, just a little change of clothes, little pants, and just a little onesie. And then, in one of the, the last pouch, so there is, yeah, there's two, four, and then six. I keep like an extra binky, just with a binky um, leash. What are these called? Binky leashes. I keep nipple butter. I could probably keep this out for now, but when she started getting teeth, it was like I started breastfeeding all over again. I got brand new scabs. I got brand new like just nipple injuries, I guess you could say. So yeah, I could probably keep this out because it's a lot better now. I keep a burp cloth and another little pair of pants, I guess. And then um, her little amber teething bracelet, which I haven't put this on her in a long time because when we first got it, it wasn't fitting and it just kept falling off and I was like paranoid about it. So I just never put it on, but I'll actually try and put that on her maybe when she wakes up because she has like three teeth growing in. She has her two top teeth and then her bottom um, right tooth coming in. So yeah, all that. So yeah, all of that. And then there is still like room in the middle to like put stuff um, in between all the pockets. I just don't put anything in there so that when I close it, it kind of just all bunches together and it's kind of smaller. So yeah, okay. And then last but not least is my pouch where I keep all of my stuff. And this is right here. There's a little clip here so you can put, um, they say it could be for binkies or for like your car keys. I don't use it too much. I don't really utilize it, but Sometimes I do. So in my little pouch, 
I have a scrunchie. I have a little thing of lotion, white peach, rose, and peony uh, hemp lotion. I keep another tinted Burt's Bees lip shimmer, I guess. <laughs> I still use these quite often, so I'm glad that I always have them in there. I have a tampon, which I won't be needing for a while. <laughs> we can probably keep that out. Or sometimes, I don't mind keeping tampons just because like, other ladies might need them sometimes. You never know. I have some eye drops because my eyes tend to get really dry, especially when I'm in the car with like the AC blowing on them. So I have eye drops. I have um, a external um, USB charger that I always keep charged up and this is like the charger for it. And then I also keep this usually in. It's a fan that also charges with um, the USB charger. So that kind of stays together, especially for the summer months. And then I have just an extra phone charger to charge using this. Um, so yeah, that's what I have in my little mommy pouch. Another tampon, where did I just fling? A bobby pin and a penny and a nickel and another penny. So yeah, that is everything that is in my diaper bag for me and my almost nine month old daughter. So um, like I said, I was obsessed with these videos when I was pregnant and you can find, um, if you like this diaper bag, like I said, it's really good quality. Um, all, it's all pleather, it's really cute, it feels really nice, it's super, all of the hardware, like still, I don't know if you can see, but I still have it like wrapped in the plastic that it came with because I just haven't taken it off yet and then it literally has like the company's name, like has a little CC um, on all the little hardware. It is very good quality, the zippers are great, um, all the clasps are really nice. Um, you know, it doesn't scratch. Um, the drawstring is really nice. This magnet for the closure is really good. If I can find it, see? It's pretty strong too. Yeah, so the company name is City Collective. And I love the little tassels. There's room to even like add, you know, if you wanna customize it with your own little keychains, you can definitely do that because there's rings on the side, there's rings on the back. Um, and then you can also carry it. I totally forgot about this. So I always just use it as a backpack, but these come off and you can also carry it as a like duffel bag. Which I've literally never done before, which is why I forgot. So the straps are adjustable. So then you can just go ahead and clip it this way. Super easy to clip. You just make the straps bigger and you can have it as like a duffel bag type situation. I don't know. I just think this bag is really great. I didn't see any videos of people having it when I was searching. And I'm so glad that I eventually, after months, of debating which diaper bag I was gonna pick. I'm so glad that I picked this one because I have zero complaints. Um, the weight is nice, the size is nice. Like I said, it can get a lot bigger, a lot smaller, depending what you have in it. Uh, yeah, so if you wanna check them out, uh, City Collective on Instagram is where I find found them. I'm sure that they have like a website. But um, I plan on just posting like mommy content, I guess, because that's just what my life consists of besides work and that's about it so if you like this video give it a like you can subscribe and uh give it a thumbs up um you know talk to me in the comments um i love you know getting comments from people and just writing back and forth um yeah and then you guys just have a good rest of your day and i'll see you soon if you guys have any like videos that you'd want to see from me i'm always open to ideas um, I'm just using this to kind of chit chat. Um, like I said previously, I'm new to an area that I just moved to. I don't have any friends. Um, <laughs> so sad. No, I'm not trying to be like poor me, but really like I don't have any friends. I don't do much. I work, I come home. On the weekends, I'll like go out to eat with my fiance and my daughter. 
we might like go to a mall or something, but we really, I don't do much. So this is just what I'm gonna try and do, just as an outlet, just a way to kind of get stuff off my chest if I need to. Um, just talk about mommy stuff and that's about it. So yeah, if you liked watching, um, give me a like and uh, subscribe and you know, stick around if you want. Um, so yeah, that was a what's in my diaper bag and if you like the bag, give them a check out if you're looking for a bag, if you're pregnant, uh, if you're about to have baby number two like I am, um, I think this would even be good for two babies. So there's plenty of room. Alright, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you next time.